Ian. Tough one to take on Tuesday night. How's the mood been like around the camp since then? It is what it is, isn't it? You've just got to bounce back. Obviously, we've got another. Luckily, we've got another game Saturday that we can bounce back and try put performance in for and try to get some results. But yeah, disappointing one. Personally, for you though, how was it being back out on the pitch after your suspension? Yeah, I was buzzing to be back. To be fair, uh, been out for three games, obviously with red card, but I'm back now, so hopefully I can impact more games. Yeah, on that, like, are you pushing for a start? Have you had a word with the gaffer? Do you want to be from the off? No, I've not had any words. I'll just just try my hardest on training ground and uh, see what happens. After the red card, what did Mark and Glynn say to you in the aftermath of that and while you were suspended? I took it on myself to uh, apologise straight after the game. Obviously, I think gaffer liked that. But yeah, he, uh, he didn't put he didn't go too mad with me. Obviously, it's a mistake. I'm still young, but we learn. I suppose every situation like that is just a learning curve at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, that's it. Talk to us about your time at Port Vale last season. You've obviously got experience in this league, scored in the playoff final. What what you take from that experience? Yeah, obviously now I know how to play in the league. I know how the, how the defenders work and I know how to play in them. So hopefully I can get quite a lot of goals this season if given the chance, you know what I mean? But yeah. First time we've spoken to you, why why did you want to come to Bradford City? It's just a massive club, isn't it? And obviously Mark Hughes, the gaffer, big manager. I think I can learn a lot from him. And coming over from Huddersfield as well, you're still quite local as well. Does that play a factor in that because of your age, because you're still quite young, just staying closer to home? No, no, that doesn't bother me. Like Vale, I had to move away last season for Vale. It didn't bother me. It's just a big club and a big big future. Does it help when you move, like you say, when you move for Port Vale, like with your learning off the pitch as well? Did yeah. you have to go and live on your own or or how did that work? Yeah, because I've never, I've never lived on myself, so obviously that was something different. I didn't really like it at first, but got used to it. Did you learn to cook? Yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what was your signature dish? Oh, I don't know, it was some, something to do with pasta, but luckily there were a lad next door who, who, who played as well, so he, he cooked most of the time. Do you still keep in touch with people at Port Vale? Do they do they ever have a word with you? Like some of them, yeah. Not not all the time. I just keep myself to myself usually, but some of them. And for you developing as well, what what's the message from Huddersfield Town while you're here at Bradford City? I just want me to come and get as many goals as possible, and just continue growing and learning. I think with Mark, that with Gaffer, obviously, that'll uh, I think that'll help me. Some fans have obviously seen you in action already in pre-season against Doncaster the other night at Colchester. For those of them who haven't seen you yet, Kian, how would you describe your own game? I'm, I'm like a fox in a box. If I put it in box, I score goals. Simple as that, isn't it? Simple as that. On to Hartlepool. Chance, quick chance to put things right off Tuesday night. How has the move been going into that one? Yeah, I think it's, it's always got to be positive going into another game. You've got to put the pass behind you and move on and look forward to Saturday. That's a good thing with this Ch- Tuesday Saturday. You always look, got another game to look forward to quite early. Is it is it one of them? Because we are on that Tuesday Saturday quite a lot at the moment. There's a lot of new faces, including yourself. It's 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 a good thing because it helps you gel a lot quicker. Yeah, yeah 100% more games is quicker you're going to gel, obviously. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. They still haven't won this season does that make it a little bit more difficult knowing you're going to their place and their fans are after that first home win of the season I don't really know we'll just go there try try, try put our game on game plan onto them and see what happens we'll, we'll, we'll go in for the win obviously okay, the, other, the other night you must have wondered how the hell that ball didn't go in at the end oh no man I couldn't believe it I was gone on that little run megged him it megged him and then it's a good save from keeper to be fair and then, and then, and then right at the end as well with Andy at the post comes back out to you the yeah day. he's handballed that though was it? Yeah, I'm ball that. But obviously it was it were a dodgy angle, rest couldn't see it, so you can't really blame him, can you? I was gonna say just sort of added to the frustration a bit more yeah. they just scored and then that happens, you yeah. still got your chance and it's still done. I think we could have played all night and not scored. Mm. It's one of the, it was just one of them games, wasn't it? But hopefully we'll put it right Saturday. I was gonna say, do you, when you're in that sort of game, do you sort of get this feeling that it's never gonna go in? Like, we were, oh, we're when keepers pulling saves off like he did. One one with Platy in first half and then that one with me second half. And then defender getting his body in way then. It's frustrating but it happens. In other games, you, you score three there, don't you? Yeah, I was going to say, it's, I suppose it's a case of just not letting it drop yeah, that's into it. the next one. Yeah. So. Um, I was reading a quote last season, um, was it Andy Crosby said you were sort of like a young Billy Sharp? Yeah, he did, yeah, he said that. I think that's just, I don't know where he got that one from. Obviously, I must remind him of him, but... <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not a bad compliment. No, it's a good compliment, to be fair. Good finisher, isn't he? Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, he's, he's enough. someone who lives for goals. Yeah. And, I mean, you know, you say you've got Fox in the box, you love scoring goals. I mean, what was it like when you scored at Wembley? What oh, was that actual moment I, like? I can't explain that feeling, it was unbelievable. 
I nearly scored just before I actually scored, and I, wouldn't, I was I was off celebrating already, wasn't I? But when it when that one went in, I couldn't believe it. I didn't know what to do. I was going to say, I mean, you know, some players play over their career and dream of going to Wembley. Yeah. You've been to Wembley already. Well, you've been to Wembley twice, haven't you? But yeah, you've been to Wembley and and, and you score there. It's just yeah, it's a good feeling. Yeah, I mean, af afterwards did take a long time to come down for that. Yeah, a good couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think I still have. I still still think about it. I suppose when you have something like that so early on in your career, it must just sort of think right. You know, it gives you it gives you a lot of confidence going into this obviously this season. I'm confident, very confident. Because this club, you know, particularly been in this league, it, it's a lot of pressure, isn't there? Because particularly you're coming in as a young player, because you know they get the big crowds in this league, which are a lot bigger than anyone else in the division. Yeah, that so does that does that pressure, isn't it? That doesn't bother me to be fair. I, I, I live off pressure, love it. And to say the fact you've handled a Wembley final, it's yeah, it's, it's, it's all it's all it's all building me up in it for future. And in terms of the team so far, you know, it's 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 very early. It's difficult to sort of pick out form-wise, but do you sort of think it's going to start clicking together. Yeah, definitely, it will do. More we, more we play, better we'll get. I think we've got a good 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 squad. More than capable of getting promotion this year. But well, you saw it last year with Port Vale. You know, yeah. you, if you have to play the long game as well because it's such a long season. Yeah. I mean, Port Vale didn't get in the playoffs until quite late. Yeah, no, it's, it's a long season.